I, I know the title and the thumbnail of the video seems a little crazy, but Future is overrated. He has been one of the most overrated rappers within the last five years, in my opinion. You don't believe me? Well, let's talk some facts real quick. When was the last time Future dropped a solo hit off his name alone? Just think about it. And I know a lot of people want to cope, defend him, and be like, Oh, just because you can't sell records or just because you can't get a hit doesn't mean you're not good. I, I really don't think Future's that good. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I feel like he is the definition of g generic trap. He doesn't switch it up ever. When you go into a Future album, when you listen to a Future song, you already know what you're going to get. He gets carried constantly. If you look at his Spotify, his most popular songs, top 10 are almost all features. He can't carry a song by himself. Let's think about Like That, carried by Metro and Kendrick, Cinderella, carried by Travis Scott, and Metro Boomin. Let's talk about Superhero. Metro Boomin's production on there. People are gonna be like, but Metro's not a rapper. Damn well, he might as well be at this point because his name carries more weight than a lot of these rappers these days. So I'm gonna say, yeah. And production is a huge part of music. If you don't have good production, no one's gonna give you a chance. The mixing's not good. No one's gonna give you a chance. The highlight of We Don't Trust You is the production. And his ass still wasn't good enough to be on the album. The truth is, Future constantly gets carried and only has hits with other artists. If it's Metro Boomin, if it's Drake, if it's Travis Scott, now Kendrick Lamar. He cannot drop a hit on his own. He just can't. When was the last time, like really think about it. When was the last time you heard a solo Future song that was a hit? Was it Mask Off? Dude, that was like almost a decade ago. Future just isn't it anymore. Like I'm gonna pull, we're gonna pull some examples of some bars from the lines on We Don't Trust You. It's, he doesn't know how to make a hook. Like I'm fried or fried, that song or whatever. He just says, bitch, I'm fried over and over again. I'm pretty sure. I'll put it on. Does he not try anymore? It sounds like he's so lazy. People are saying this album is album of the year. Bruh. Absolutely not. Future got carried constantly throughout the album, whether it was the production or the features. Because they just... He just wasn't the highlight of the album. And even if... I think there are songs that he was good on solo, but that's because of the production. Like, Ice Attack, I think, is one of the best songs on the album but it's because of the production. The beat switch is so fucking awesome that Metro did that and it was great, but that's just the theme of the album. He gets carried. Future just doesn't have it anymore. I don't know, I, I've listened to a lot of Future the past couple years, his newer stuff, not his old stuff. And I'm just like, why do people like this guy so much? Like, he has like no diversity at all. It's just every other trap artist these days. Just talk about the same stuff, drugs, money, girls, whatever. It's the same thing over and over again. Just regurgitated in a different format. Regurgitated in a different beat. Maybe a feature there. He can't drop a hit, dude. He he can't sell records off his name, and that's just the truth of it. A better example of this is We Still Don't Trust You. That album didn't do well. It didn't perform well. It did good for the first week, but the truth is about album sales is that the first week doesn't matter. It's what matters. The first week doesn't matter. But what actually matters is the second week, the third week, the fourth week. Are you still consistently selling? If you're not, it's an indicative that it's a flop. And we still don't trust you. It's nowhere near the same numbers as we don't trust you. There is, they saturated a market with a bunch of songs that no one really cares about. No one wants to hear. No one wants to listen to. Sales were good first week, but as a time goes on no one's really bumping it anymore because the replay value of we still don't trust you is garbage the album isn't good it's terrible it's not good at all there's like no replay value and in my opinion if there's no replay value you're a bad album that's the truth of it. and i just think the main problem is just future future doesn't have that swag he gets carried and cannot do it on his own if it's not drake it's Metro. If it's not Metro, it's 21 Savage. If it's not 21 Savage, it's Travis Scott. If it's not Travis Scott, now apparently it's Kendrick Lamar. I, I don't know what to say. This guy just can't, he can't do it anymore. He, he, I don't think he knows how to rap anymore. 
He doesn't know how to make a hook to save his life. And people want to call this man a goat. I, I don't see it. He is nowhere near a goat for me. Absolutely not. Not for the past five years. I'm 19, all right? So, and I'm suburban. So if you think I'm going to be bumping his older stuff back then, no. I mean, maybe I'll go back to it. Who knows? But I have no reason to do it when his new stuff is just so garbage, in my opinion. I think he gets carried. And I think the We Don't Trust You album is overrated, like, to the middle. People are calling this album of the year, or, like, this should win a Grammy, whatever. I best it was mid. And then the deluxe edition, or the second volume, whatever the fuck that was, was even more garbage. So they first drop a mid album, and then they drop a terrible album. Like, how, how do you guys do that? Like, how do you manage to do that? It's, to me, it's, I don't really care because I never really saw Future at his peak or his prime. Apparently, he's still in his prime, according to people, like, commercially and everything. Like, sure, yeah, he is, I guess. But that's because he's usually carried. Like, his last album was, uh, I Never Liked You, I think that's what it was called. So good, but he had two Drake features, and the most popular song on there is a Drake song. And then his recent album, now with Metro, the most popular song on there, guess what? Is the Kendrick Lamar song. And it's so good off of Metro's name and the features, in my opinion. I think Future drops an album right now off his name alone is not selling that good. I think he's selling 100K or less. I don't think he's selling that much. That's the truth of it. You're like, there's no way. Yeah, it's absolutely that way. Future just doesn't got the swag anymore, in my opinion. It's, it's not good. People are going to be like, oh, but you, you're so... You're hating, whatever. I'm not hating. I'm telling you my opinion. It's simple as that. It's subjective. At the end of the day, it's music. And Future just doesn't do it for me. He's not. When I see a Future feature on any song, I'm like, oh, this guy's verse is going to be so boring. It's going to be monotonous. He's going to sound like he's high. It. He puts no energy or passion into the music anymore. I can tell by his sound of his voice. Which I know people are going to be like, well, why would you expect any more from Future? He's not a lyricist guy. I'm not expect I'm not expecting that. I listen to people like Playboy Cardi. I listen to people like Uzi. I listen to people like Opium. I listen to people like Sofago. Midwest. These guys aren't lyrical. I get that. Like, Yeet is another perfect example. These guys aren't lyrical. I know that. I know what to expect from these guys. That's why I listen to them. But that's the reason. The most important aspect to me for music is the sound. If the sound is good, I do not care what you say. To an extent. Uh, but most part i really don't care what you say as long as the flow is good the production is good whatever it is the, the voice the vocals everything like that it's important to me and if it all combines well and it sounds good then that's all that matters to me that's music to me at the end of the day that's hip-hop and i just feel feel like future just lacks that he I don't think he tries anymore. It, it, you can hear it in the music. He doesn't try. You can hear him on features with other people's songs, albums, whatever. He just sounds like he doesn't try anymore. Which I don't blame him. He's like almost, I think he's in his 40s. He's in his late 30s. He has no reason to try anymore. He's already made it out. He's already made his money. He has nothing else to gain. Maybe prove something, whatever. But it's kind of sad. But and clearly it's not sad because everyone's thinking that this guy's still dropping albums of the year apparently i don't think so but hey that's hip-hop for you and i just really don't think this album or future as an artist currently is good i think he's pretty bad but hey that's just my opinion